Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where we solve lead code questions for now. So let's pick another, hmm, this one sounds interesting, array partition. So 561 array partition one, given an array of two n integers, all right. Your task is to group these integers into n pairs of integer. So if we have 2 times 5, n equals 5 integers, so we have 10 integers, we want to group these integers into 5 pairs of 2 integers, I guess, right? Say, or we'll see, say a1, b1, a2, b2, a, n, b, n. Um, which makes sum of min a b and what? Your task is to group these integers into n pairs of integer. Say something like this, okay? Which makes sum of min a and b for all i from one to n as large as possible. So basically, it maximizes. Uh, the mean values uh, then basically from each pair summed up. Let's have a practical example because this kind of sounds <laughs> quite theoretic, uh, theoretical I guess. So our input would be 1, 4, 3, 2 and of course we want to uh, have the length n divided by 2 pairs so basically we have two pairs and we know that the minimum between each of those pairs should be picked and for example I'm looking at pairs one and two because their minimum would be again I guess one for the other one would be three four then the three then we get a sum of four and this is basically um, explanation n is 2 and the maximum sum of pairs is 4 so we basically want to return the maximum sum of min picked values from each pair uh, and some notes n is a positive integer and all the integers in the uh, integers in the array will be between minus uh, 10,000 and plus 10,000. So, how can we know, given a basically a series of integers, how can we know that, um, well, basically from what I can see, we are grouping the we are grouping them in ascending order, right? Because for example, if we had I don't know if we had an array that also contained zero and five, it wouldn't make sense to have them like this. It would make probably make more sense to have them zero and one. Right? Zero one, two, three, and four, five. Why? This would give us a zero, this would give us a two, this would give us a four. So uh, maximum of six or the sum of six. If we arrange them any any differently, we would basically be losing. Oh, I, I, I cannot really describe the theory behind it, but I have a feeling that um, if I don't put them like this, I'm basically sacrificing wherever I put this for some other num bigger number that could be in its place, right? Uh, basically, I'm pushing the minimum value to some other position where it could have been substituted by something that is actually higher than that. Uh, and yeah, I think this is basically what we need. Um, it's also good to consider what, what are you going to be doing in cases where there are also for example, in cases of negative numbers, because negative numbers might behave 
differently. You might probably want to have them in a, in a other direction. Let's let's see. Let's have minus four, minus three, and minus two, minus one. So picking the minimum value, right? And as you can see, picking the minimum value out of those two, you'd basically go with the minus four. And here would go you would go with, uh, with minus two, at least having our initial strategy. Uh, and that would actually reduce our sum more than if we had them, I guess, the other way around or like, for example, the um, can you do even something about this? Hmm. Well, if you had the minus three and the minus two, it wouldn't really work, right? If you have minus four, minus three, actually minus seven. So, I guess the logic continues or follows the same line. I'm still going to try a couple more. Uh, yeah, just because I don't really have a solid explanation how to approach this theoretically, I think I'm just gonna, gonna I'm gonna try a couple more cases, so we are sure. Um, for example, yeah, just given just given this example, how can we arrange it to actually minimize our sum? We know that the minus one cannot beat any of those when it comes to the minimum value, so. It makes the most sense to pack this with the next value or the, the, the nearest value along this line of negative numbers, right? You're past the zero, you're just going left. It makes sense to pass the next possible or the nearest value next to that so that it is the basically the picked one because it will be always be uh, lower than than the minus one i guess in this case and uh, it would always contribute to the least negative effect on the sum so yeah easy peasy i, I would say um what do we want we want our sorted nums equals basically sorted out of nums and uh, what we also want is to split our array uh, how can i do this i don't think there is any predefined predefined or maybe there is some syntax uh, i will basically do it manually in this case how would I do this? Would be um, minimums would be our for I ho ho. Let's see. Um, let it be an empty array for now. Let's have it a bit more manually for I in um, range out of length out of nums so we know we are basically looping through the whole thing and of course we are stepping uh how's it step was it range step range step step is it step Mm -hmm. Start stop step. How would you use the step? Um, syntax step range text three arguments out of the three two arguments are optional. I start and step are right, optional. I guess I could even just. Uh, Uh, 
Okay. Um, I could basically do this and the stop would probably be just before to start to stop mm, yeah right before so what that, the, that does give us it basically gives us uh, a way to hop on each of those pairs and now we are basically doing minimums equals uh, basically append and here I'm assuming it is because of that append and now we are getting the, the minimum out of um, sorted nums i and uh, sorted nums you could do it like this, you could even do it like this and i plus 2 I guess and let's quickly print to see what we have until now print minimums uh, I actually even want to print this, this thing because I'm not sure I got the syntax correctly Uh, return zero I see default value okay so yeah we are getting them in pairs and they're also ordered um, what do you also want in this case is just basically the sum of the minimums and this would be our yeah our whole code um, you could probably now since we are already at that point uh, I would would probably even first just think about any edge cases uh, I would definitely try something like minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 um, and and another one that has mixed values which would be one after the other I guess mm. it is exactly what we wanted and now the other one would be minus 4, minus 3, 1, 2. Again, uh, spaces. So, the algorithm itself, yeah, sometimes you just get lucky with the intuition, I guess, because uh, I didn't really have a, a solid understanding why I did that uh, from the beginning. I just kind of saw the pattern. And I think the seeing the pattern part comes with just like trying trying to solve many problems, uh, and not just programming problems, even just like sometimes life, like real life problems that are. Sorry, I had to drink some water. Um, like real life problems or like uh, philosophical problems or like I don't know thinking related problems. Like I don't know, you have some issue that you thought something was super right and then it, it turns out that you are the person that was wrong don't disregard that try try really hard to understand uh, why 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 you got it wrong and i know it's kind of going against your will and it kind of doesn't make sense but when you try enough you kind of start picking up on clues that you didn't even you know you didn't even know you could pick on right um so yeah let's have it like this now i want to submit it real quick and then i think we're just gonna do it uh, in one line it was a success that is that is very good news so what can we do we know that we can get our nums sorted and then um, 
we can also for i in range the length of this thingy right and I guess the sorted part would stay because otherwise I would have to do it every time in the loop so I wouldn't do it like this um, and I will tell you what exactly I meant by that I will show you uh, just in a sec do I have anything there I guess not so we know we are going to be doing this and here we are going to be populating the mean out of sorted nums i i plus 2 for i in the range of this and we're basically getting the minimums directly there so we definitely don't need all of that and imagine that we had to sort our array here inside uh, every time we needed to um, well, actually, we could enumerate, right? A few moments later. Why do I want this? Well, because, well, actually it wouldn't even matter, right? Because if I don't save the sorted nums or the sorting part separately, every time I want to call it, I'll have to sort again. So I'll just leave it for the, for now and just leave it like that our function would basically now do to sort the input it would go from the range of zero until the end hopping to two elements at a time and for each of those two elements again we are getting the sorted values for each of those basically pairs then getting a minimum out of those two sorted values or this pair and putting them into an array is this list comprehension is, is doing and now we can actually do a sum out of this whole over this whole uh, list comprehension or a list and I'm assuming we should be getting the same results now of course there's always room for error <laughs> but I don't I don't see any so let's have it like this pretty compact and that's why I love Python it's just it's like of course you wouldn't want to write everything like that but sometimes you can sometimes you really need to and it kind of declutters a lot of the stuff um, just leaves you with a lot more vertical room to write more stuff into the same function or something like that so that was it from me i uh, hope you uh, learned a couple of things from this one and like i said just just try and incorporate your critical thinking part of the brain well, not everything in your life, but whenever possible, whenever, whenever you feel like it, and you know you will, you will know when you feel like it. Uh, just try to do that. It it is very helpful. It will train you to think critically about a lot of stuff, and actually self-critically as well. And that's very crucial, especially when you get older. So that was it from me. Have a good day, and see you next time. Bye bye.